chapter 2, Mishnah 2. We learned in chapter 1, Mishnah 5, that the produce whose processing had been completed in the field becomes forbidden to eat even as a snack. However, this is true only for produce that is meant for the market, but produce that is being brought home may be eaten as a snack until it reaches the house. Nevertheless, the rabbis decreed that six things cause the miser obligation to become set, even before the produce enters the house. This means that the produce may no longer be eaten, even as a snack, without separating maestros. The rest of this chapter discusses the effects of three of these things, separating truma, selling the produce, and bringing it into the courtyard. This mission deals with bringing the produce into the courtyard, and it teaches an important qualification of this rule. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If people were sitting in the gateway of a courtyard or in a store, and the owner of the courtyard or store said to them, take for yourself some of the figs I have outside the courtyard or store, they may take figs, bring them into the courtyard or store, and eat them as a snack, and they are exempt from separating maestros for eating them. However, the owner of the gateway, i.e. courtyard, and the owner of the store are obligated to separate maestros from the figs they bring in before any of them may be eaten. Although bringing produce into a courtyard or store sets its miser obligation and prohibits eating it as a snack, it does so only when someone brings it into his own courtyard or store, not into someone else's. Therefore, the figs, uh, the figs the other people bring in may be eaten as a snack because those people are not bringing them into their own courtyard or store. But the ones the owner brings in cannot be eaten until he separates maestros. According to the previous Tana, Whatever the owner brings into his courtyard or store becomes set for Miser as soon as it enters the courtyard or store. The Mishnah now cites another opinion. Rabbi Yehuda says that even the owner of the courtyard or store is exempt from separating Maestros in the gateway of his courtyard or in the customer area of the store, unless he turns his face to the side while he eats so that people do not see him eating, or unless he changes his seat before he eats so that he is not facing his customers while he eats. According to Rabbi Yehuda, only the parts of the courtyard or store in which the owner is not embarrassed to eat set the miser obligation. Since a person is uncomfortable eating at the entrance to his courtyard where people passing by can see him, or in a store facing his customers, even if the owners himself begin even if the owners himself bring the figs into these areas, they have not yet become set for miser and may still be snacked on.